Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another creative week video. I know you guys have been waiting for this and thank you so much for being so patient. This is creative week 93. I thought we would start it off with a little bit of wintry holiday vibes since the holiday is right around the corner in just a couple days. Uh, so happy holidays if you do celebrate and if you don't I hope you have a fantastic week next week. So I am just putting together my Patreon mailers in this clip here. We are at this point in time at the end of the month, but at the beginning of every month, I put together these mailers for my Happy Mail patrons and they get them around the middle of the month and I like to create a little card or some type of note that thanks them for being patrons along with the goodies I send them, of course. So this month I made them out of the quirky butt paper that I made the Patreon calendar and download out of this month. And I'm using the Grinch printable from my Etsy shop. This is a printable kit. There's various sizes of the same illustration but it's really fun, it's very versatile. I love using it for tags, using it to create cards, using it in my journal. It's just really fun and I'm a Grinch at heart, so there's that. I'm just putting the name of each one of my patrons that gets a mailer on one of these labels and sticking it on there. And to do that, I'm using the Parku Permanent Markers, which I just realized I was supposed to do a review on and failed to do so. So we're just going to talk about those for a hot second. <laughs> I got these earlier this year and you guys may remember me talking about the their gel pens, which I absolutely love. I use their gel pens all the time and a lot of you have purchased them and really like them as well. So they also put out a set of permanent markers. Basically they're comparable to Sharpies. It's an alcohol based marker and they come in lots of different colors. So they're really fun. <laughs> Here's just a shot of what my desk really looks like while I'm working. This is actually probably one of the cleaner days, but I thought I'd just give you a little sneaky peek office shot there. You can see some of the new vinyls on my desk and the pencil cups and art supplies. I mean, who doesn't love art supplies? Next, we are unboxing my new Camel Traveler's Notebook. Some of this may be redundant for you guys, but <laughs> I hadn't put these clips into anything yet. So I got the Camel Traveler's Notebook from the actual like traveler's company. It's my first one and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm using my December daily in it and my planner size next year is going to be a standard. So my bullet journal part of my planner will probably be housed in here at some point. And I just wanted to share the unboxing with you guys because it's just really fun when it's new. The elastic was super tight so I did have to loosen that up a little bit which was no problem. The leather smelled amazing. It did have this super velvety texture, which I'm so not into, but I put some leather conditioner on it, like the kind that I use on my cowboy boots and stuff, and that took some of the suede like velvety feel out and made it just more soft. So I really like that. Come with an insert. I just ordered mine off Amazon. I'll leave that linked below. I'm going to kind of shout out some of my favorite supplies this year during this video. So if you're looking for any of that, you can check out my Amazon storefront. Also right here, there is a slit in the top and bottom of the traveler's notebook. And I had to ask my other TN expert friends if this is like a thing with everybody's and it is, it's not an error. We're not sure why they do it, but in case you got one for the first time and you were like me and were like, do I need to return this? Nope, the slots are supposed to be there. So as I was saying, uh, things linked below. You can always check out my Amazon storefront. Just a bunch of my favorite things that I get on Amazon. And yeah, so moving on, I'm at, this is a little clip of me journaling in my December daily. And a lot of you had kind of picked up on, not picked up on, a lot of you had messaged me or commented and said it was okay that I wasn't liking my December daily. 
after my last video and I just want to clear up the fact that I am liking my December daily I just didn't like it for the first few days because I was trying to do something that wasn't me if that makes any sense <laughs> So this day I was feeling a little bit under the weather. I grabbed a tag in the shape of a coffee cup and I was looking for a sticker that kind of represented how I felt. And I put in a tea bag from some tea that one of my Patreon peeps sent me to try out it was the Yogi Honey Lavender Tea and it was really yummy and I want to get some more. So I found my sticker. And I'm just going to stick it on here. It's one of the girls kind of sleeping. This is from the stickers from um, Totally Blanking. We'll get back to that. <laughs> I'm using my Corgi number stickers, which was a printable in my Etsy shop as well. Kind of new December daily numbers this year. These have been super fun. I cut mine out with my Cricut, but it is a digital download. And then I'm just writing on this tag with my favorite fine liner of the year, which was a surprise. I'm not a huge fine liner person. Maybe it's just the tip on it that I enjoy, but this is a Windsor Noon Point Eight fine liner, and it is pigment ink, so it's water resistant. So that's been a favorite of the year. putting some thread on it to that tag there the twine that came with the tags I got those from Michaels I think and that's just my day for the 14th so next we are going into my journal this is actually my journal from November and one day during December, kind of early on, I was like, I need to finish this journal. This is the end. <laughs> Let's get a move on. So I pulled out everything I still needed to put in my journal at this point, And I just started putting things in where it seemed right. So here I have a package of, from, not of, from my Hobonichi Weeks that I use in my wallet and I just tipped it in, it made a little pocket there, and then I took a piece of scrap paper and made a little journal card and put some photos on there and some journaling on the back. In case you had missed it, I just wanted to remind you guys that the tip-in class is on sale for 50% off until the end of the year. I've been getting some awesome feedback on that and I'm so happy. So thank you to everyone who has given their feedback on that. And if you were interested in that, you have until uh, the end of 2019 to grab it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using some letter stickers to spell out Sunset on the Farm. I totally goofed and part of this journal with me is off the screen, but I hope you can forgive me for that. Sometimes you just get in the journaling mood and you're not really thinking about where the camera is. Here I'm just doing a messy outline of the photo and a messy border to journal in. Sometimes these can look really bad until you finish them with the coloring in and then they look awesome. You also saw there another favorite of mine for the year which was Posca paint pens. I use mine all the time. I've been raving about them all 2019 but those are really fun. Now I'm just going through a giant stack of stickers. I had pulled stickers out from all kinds of places where I had them stored and I needed to reorganize them but until they got to their forever home they lived on a pile in a pile on my desk so that's what i'm sifting through there it's a bunch of my stickers from the shop my sticker sheets as well as other ones i've been sent and things like that here is the page that i made during our take five for this month if you missed that we'll leave it linked in a card so you can watch that but i'm just kind of completing the page with again some more photos and i'm using some 
sticker flakes that were gifted to me. Um, I got them from Sticky Club, I think. So those are really fun. The backing is a pain in the butt to get off though. <laughs> I have nails and I was having a hard time. I'm also using a scrap of that index card that I used in the original page to make a little spot there to journal on, kind of like a faux label. I tucked some extra things into the pocket there on the left. And what am I doing here? I'm still just looking for more stickers. Shine Sticker Studio stickers have been a huge favorite of this month, especially the little books that you can get at Michael's. But of course they are a independent shop so you can get some of their stuff online, which I ordered uh, their star sticky notes for Black Friday. Really excited about those. Next I'm taking one of these YouTube stickers and I'm just writing in the fact that it was a take five challenge page so that I don't forget. And I'm opening up my days and date organizer to look for a Sunday sticker to put on there because that was when we went was on a Sunday. Next, I'm moving on back to the page where I started. These were just some Amazon gift receipts from a birthday gift that I had gotten. And it was coffee related, so I stuck a bunch of coffee stickers up there, journaled a little bit about the gift, and then I just put some extremely random stickers on the bottom and made this super weird unrelated collage with random leftover stuff so that I could use the stickers up one and to just fill the page. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? But it looks pretty cute at the end, I think. Again, the whole point of doing this was just to kind of finish up my November journal. So that's what I'm focusing on. I added a heart checklist sideways with a coffee sticker. Not quite sure why that happened, but. So you'll see here what I'm talking about with the messy border. I do like it, it just, it looks like a hot mess. <laughs> but all those gaps allow me to fill in with these fun little stripey doodles and then it looks really, really cool at the end. Back onto my favorite pen of the year. It's not the pen I'm using right now. That is another of my all-time favorites, but I've talked about it many times before. The one I'm using right now in the video is the Uniball Signo 207, which is always in my Amazon favorites. The one that I have been using the most in my journal, especially usually to do these borders, of course not this time, right? But anyway, it's the Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica, the 0.8 and the 0.3 are the two that are my favorites. So I'll try to leave those again linked in the Amazon store for you as well. I'm just pulling out this photo card here. I had visited a old cemetery out uh, on the property with my boyfriend and his brother. They had found it, so they took me there and it was pretty cool. So I just put a skull and a little fortune healing hand sticker on there just to spice up the photo a little bit. And then I'm taking this photo, which was a very funny photo of my boyfriend. I thought my hair looked cool, so I was like gonna take a nice picture of us together. <laughs> And he was playing a video game and all of a sudden he made a very concentrated funny face and it was just hilarious. So, like at the exact moment I stopped the photo. So I thought I was getting one photo and then I looked at the photo and I was like, wait a minute. So I put one of my laughing emoji stickers on there that I have in my shop. And then I just wrote about his funny face on there in a metallic gel pen just to give it a little bit of oomph, interest, you know. And then I have some packaging from a bracelet that my sister gave me for my birthday. And it said Scorpio, so obviously I had to add it. 
And again, just adding more things. Been really into American Horror Story lately, although right now we're fighting. <laughs> but <laughs> we might break up before the before all the seasons are over. But I just wanted to put in the seasons I had been enjoying because it was something again that I was doing in my spare time with my boyfriend, kind of like it's a little date thing. So I'm putting in. This was one of my favorites, Coven, which was the um, third season, I believe. So I'm just kind of taking some scrap paper and collaging it on there, just again to fill up space and to get all the things in my journal. Again, using more of those letter stickers. I have no idea where they came from. I think somebody sent them to me, but I just wanted to make sure I could spell out the word favorite because that was my favorite season at the time. I just finished season six, it, which I am, we're fighting. Like, <laughs> I did not like it, <laughs> but I watched the whole thing. Next, I'm journaling these photos that I, again, are from the day that we went to see the old cemetery from the 1800s that my boyfriend found out in the woods. And we also found an old house foundation, so that's what that photo is. So I just wanted to put those in there, uh, just because it's interesting and, you know, old and cool and spooky. We were all very respectful, of course, but I figured it would be okay to take a picture. <laughs> so we did that. And just used a scrap piece of paper to put it on like a fake journal card. And just using a little label and sticking it in that pocket as well. The pocket is pretty flimsy because it's just, it's just a piece of plastic which is thicker than, or wider I should say, than the things I put in it, so I just paper clipped that together so none of this stuff would fall out. My Scorpio thing kept falling off. And I'm just flipping through to see if there's anything else that I can add to here. I really wanted to put something on this page, so I flipped through a couple of my magazines, but I didn't really find anything that I wanted to put there. And then I went through my collage sheet printouts from Courtney over at Little Raven Ink and I found this one with a quote on it so I put that there with a little die cut piece that I had in my stash I end up using the bear and their sticky back die cuts which is really cool so I put that down and I print all of my collage sheets that I get from other people and my own on sticker paper just because I'm lazy <laughs> and it makes it easier to stick it onto things. Next, I wanted to share with you a little shop share. This is from Emerald Winterwood Shop. This is a creative and longtime Patreon peep Elizabeth owns this shop and I recently discovered it over Black Friday so I thought I would make a little purchase and share it with you. She makes body products and uh, kind of smelly stuff. She also sells crystals and I got a few of those so if you'd like to check out her shop I'll leave it linked below. But I got one of the wax melt samplers which was really good. If I'm going to buy in the future I think I would get the wax sampler just to try out all the scents basically before I buy. I bought a lot of this Queen Bee scent and it ended up not being my favorite but her packaging is gorgeous. It has nothing to do with her or the scent. I just read it and it didn't smell like how I imagined but I'm not really good with that kind of stuff. So anyway, these gorgeous poured wax melts, they're just, oh, they're so nice, but I'm gonna end up giving them away because these two scents weren't really my favorite. 
The following cupcakes definitely is a favorite of mine. The foaming sugar scrub I will be repurchasing over and over again. This is fantastic. The peppermint one that I got is my absolute favorite. They come in these cute jars and it just really, it's a nice exfoliator. <laughs> I really like it. Usually I use sea salt scrub, but I like the sugar scrub because it doesn't really burn your recently shaved legs, if you know what I mean. So this candy cane lane one is just, it smells amazing. As you can see, I've already used it when I filmed this video, so sorry it's not all pretty. But there's that. I also got this crystal right here, which was a, it's like an angel quartz crystal. I don't know if that was the name she had it under, but it's just kind of holographic and iridescent and then I got a couple of these peach moonstone tumbled stones which I have moonstone but I hadn't seen the peach before so that was really fun uh, so yeah if you'd like to check out her shop I will leave it linked below she also recently started a YouTube channel where she just posted a vlog of her making her lip gloss I think which was pretty cool so I'll leave all of her links below if you'd like to check her out. She has no idea that I'm doing this. I didn't ask, she didn't ask me to show you guys. I just thought it would be fun because I love supporting other small business and crafty peeps. So if you have a creative business, if you make videos, if you have an Etsy store or whatever, this is your chance to brag. Post in the comments what are links and what you do so we can check you guys out. I love to have a little share down below and I'd love to see what you guys are up to if you that's something that you do. So here's my whole haul uh, just so you can see it one more time. She gave me a bunch of freebies which is very nice of her and yeah there's that. I can't wait to hear about what things you guys are up to in the comments below. And last but not least today, we are doing some swatches. These are the Twee Markers by Arteza. I have really, or Arteza, I never remember. <laughs> but some of their products have been my favorites here this year. These Twee Markers and the gouache, of course, as well as the watercolor pencils have been three of my favorites for the year. I will leave links to those below. I also think I have them in my Amazon thing, but I'm not really talking about those. What I'm talking about in this clip is me making my swatch book. Now I have a swatch book that I started. I've started a swatch book a million times. And if you have no idea what that is, it's basically just a book that catalogs all of the art supplies that you have so that you can kind of look for a color, or just just see what you have and I find sometimes even my favorite supplies like this one I forget that I have them because I get something new and then I use that and then everything's old again and I really want to get into using what I actually have more because I find I buy a lot of similar products just because I feel like I want something new and then I get it and I'm like wait I already have something just like that I just forgot all about it <laughs> so I wanted to work on the swatch book some more that's what I've been doing and I thought swatching would be really kind of therapeutic to watch this is the time of year where everything is absolutely crazy and I don't know about you but the holidays aren't even here yet and I'm already done. Like I am done. <laughs> so I will leave you with the music for a few minutes so that you can enjoy this little swatch fest and I'll be back in a minute.
that is it for me today you guys i thought i would leave you with some snow clips for those of you that don't get snow where you are so you can get a little bit of that winter wonderland magic I hope that you find some time to relax for yourself. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you a little time to relax away from all the hustle and bustle. I wanted to thank you all so much for your support this year and all the years before if you have been here the entire time I've been on the interwebs or for only this video. You guys are amazing. It means so much to me that you are here with me on this journey. Please don't forget to brag about yourself in the comments below. I can't wait to check out everybody's links. A giant thank you as always to my patrons for sponsoring this channel and all the things that I do. They are awesome. You guys are awesome. Have a happy holiday and a wonderful new year. And I will see you guys in 2020. Take care, guys. Bye.